This video demonstrates the creation of the account model and the function to insert registration data into the client's table of the ACME database. Begin by finding the model folder inside of the ACME site. Right click on the folder, select New, and then PHP File. Name the file Accounts-Model. NetBeans will automatically add the .php extension. When the file is created and opens, alter the default comment to indicate that this is the model for the accounts application. Add a few empty lines and then add a new comment to describe the function to be written. This function will insert registration data to the database. Create the new function using the function keyword followed by the function name, regclient. Because this function will need outside data to write the data to the database, add four variables within the reg client parentheses. Client first name, client last name, client email, client password, each separated with a comma and a space. The variable names are derived from the field names in the client's database table where the data will be stored. By naming variables using the same name, it helps keep clear what data is being used. At this point, <clears throat> your function should look like the code in the video. Next, we will add code to make the function operable. We will be using PDO prepared statements as they add an additional level of protection to our database. The rule of thumb in web security is never trust outside data, so we will use security enhancements in our code. First, we call our ACME database connection function to create a new PDO connection object named $DB. Then, we write our SQL insert statement. Note the use of named placeholders, for example, colon first name. To better understand these named placeholders, consult the URL shown leading to php.net. We then create the actual PDO prepared statement which is an object named $STMT. Then, we use the bind value method of the prepared statement object to replace the named placeholders, again for example, colon first name, with the actual values from the variables, for example, $client first name, in the SQL statement, and also tell the database what kind of data the values are in our example, all our strings. We then run the finished prepared statement in an attempt to write the data to the database. When done, we ask the database server to report how many rows in the database table were changed because of the last query. Whatever number it returns, we store into the variable named rows changed. We expect that number to be one since we are attempting to register a single individual. Being done, we close the database interaction. Finally, we return the value of the rows changed variable to wherever the function was called from. This should be the controller. We are not quite ready to test our function yet, but we will when the controller is finished and ready to use the model. Be sure to save your file and check your code for accuracy and check the name of your ACME database connection function against the function call at the beginning of this code to make sure they match.